Let's see if we can get this leopard 400 feet. Oh yeah, keep turning, keep turning. Stable! Welcome back to Bonanza Disc Golf. Editor Anthony right here because a lot of you guys actually have asked me for a beginner set challenge. I think a lot is probably a little bit too aggressive of a word, but a couple of you guys definitely have asked for a beginner set challenge. Little did you know, before I even started the channel, I had filmed this video when I was in Boulder, Colorado at Valmont Disc Golf Park. This is actually Eagle McMahon's home course. We're gonna be taking an in of a starter set, which is actually pretty much some of the discs that I got started with, the very first disc that I bought, and seeing how we can score on a very scorable course. Weather does shift a little bit, and the back nine, I have a new challenge besides just throwing the starters at discs. We're gonna cut it to Anthony back in July or something like that, and we're actually gonna be filming this POV style, so it's gonna be like you're throwing the discs. Let's cut it back to before I had all of you guys to thank for this craziness where we just passed 7,500 subscribers. Hopefully, honestly, maybe 12 or 15,000 by the end of the year. So subscribe if you haven't yet. I appreciate you. And I'll see you guys now, just in the past. Okay, bye. All right, we made it here to Valmont Disc Golf Park. We're gonna take the starter set and hopefully this is true because at the bottom here it says more players enjoyed the Innova Disc Golf set than all others combined. We're gonna be putting that to the test today. We've got 18 holes, this is a pretty short course. I played it a few times just for fun. My best round ever here is 13 down. But today we got the Shark, the AVR, which I've never even putted with. They're all very light, I'm very nervous. And the Leopard, I think they'll all be super flippy. I'm gonna try to get at least 10 down, but if I can somehow beat my record with this Innova starter set, I'm gonna be stoked. All right, I was gonna warm up at the practice basket, but you know what? We're just gonna go no warm up. First eight holes, seven holes are very short, so let's make it happen. Hole one, 193 right down there. Normally a simple forehand, but with these discs, I don't know if I trust them on a forehand yet. Maybe the shark, but I think it's gonna be an AVR turnover shot. This thing is so light. Oh, that's more stable than I think. Interesting. I think these discs are gonna be way more useful than I gave them credit for, especially right out the box. That shark is parked. The AVR, I thought would just stay on that turnover line and it actually stabled out of it. I mean, I didn't throw it hard, but I'm kind of impressed. All right, there's our shark. I mean, I should have just thrown that forehand. Just a side circle, probably. Stay up. Ah, gosh. Starting with the par. I feel like this will be good. I'm interested to see how far I can throw this leopard and how stable it is. I think I forgot that like out of the box, these do have some stability until you hit trees. Luckily, there's a lot of trees here to hit, so I bet the stability of these discs will change during this round. Hole two, 165. People finishing up the putt. You can kind of barely see it right through there. There's not really a good line around anything. The best that I found is going over that tree and flexing back towards the basket with the zone. So I think I'm gonna throw that with the shark. 150 grams, I'm worried any wind is gonna push it wherever it wants to. Oh, left it a little bit to the right, good kick. All right, kick, we gotta look. <sighs> Stay up, man, throw a putt, oh my gosh. What the f- Am I about to take a freaking bogey on this course? Alright, I'm just gonna forehand the shark up in there. That's fine. Bogey. Plus freaking one. That's ridiculous. Well, three, 170. Straight ahead, and there's the hyzer play over there. Or forehand. I think since I don't have a super stable disc, we're gonna go the hyzer. Oh my gosh. What a terrible throw. It's coming back, wow. I think I threw that a little frustratedly because of how pissed I was by that roll away. Are you serious? All right, there's not been a single time that I've not been at least two down through this stretch. Straddle putt from a knee. Let's make this, come on, AVR. Oh no. I'm not the biggest fan of that plastic. I feel like I'm making a lot of excuses. I really don't mean to be, I'm just... Good putt. All right, this is the hole that can turn it around. We got two ace run holes right here. First one uphill, second one downhill. 155, let's nail this purple AVR. Get it. Oh. All right, Mr. AVR, good work. This thing is so light, is like not in the chains as hard as I normally do with my putters. Not great. Back to even, hole five, 145, straight downhill. Another ace run hole. Just don't want to put it too far past the basket, which I've done almost every time I've played it. I just left it with almost no power out there. That's pretty good. All right, not bad. Avery is 2301, so it got a decent bit of turn there, even with no power. Oh, look at the chains, they're moving. Hole number six, we have 188 feet straight ahead there. I think the outdoor play is a big forehand. We're gonna go with the shark. It seems to be all right stable. I think this tailwind's gonna push it forward and hyzer it out, which is actually what we need on this shot. Keep going, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. 
Maybe got a little skip. All right, we left ourselves about 45 feet here. If I can make this, I'd be stoked. Get through. Oh, that was a good line too. Maybe I need to putt with the shark because that's two for two that I missed with the AVR and maybe with the shark. Part town. This one, we got the basket straight ahead of us. You really want to get into one of those two gaps and not much farther. I honestly like to slide this one up there. Touch of Anheuser. Try not to turn it over. Try not to turn it over. Oh, burn it into the ground. Slide up, slide, 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 slide. Ah, it's all right. Leopard is still just our marker. Ha! Ah, that felt all right. Pulled a little bit right. The putter is a little shallow for my preference. My peers are a little bit deeper than this AVR is. Par. All right, hey, we're under par through seven. Hole eight here that we're coming up to is the longest one on the course. We actually have to cross through some gates. I think it's about 360. So we're gonna really have to let this leopard loose. First time we're actually gonna throw it. I'm gonna put it on like this much hyzer. Oh my gosh. I threw on so much hyzer. I mean, that's going pretty far actually. No, it's about 330. Actually, I mean, for not throwing it hard, I'm almost pin high. So I kind of actually have a little stepper look. Heiser in, Heiser in, Heiser in. Ah, good line, good line. One more through the front nine. Let's get down to. Oh, they moved it. Uh oh. This one's now like 450 feet out there. It used to be just past those trees, about 300 feet. So we actually get to let loose on this again. Here, let's throw it on the disc charger real fast. All right, charged up. Oh, yeah, keep turning, keep turning. Stable. Oh, I did not see where it burned into, but let's see how far that leopard went. That thing is touchy. Needed a little bit more hyzer on it. I boomed that leopard. <laughs> Udisc is saying 420-ish feet. We're like pin high. And it never came out. Either I'm throwing farther or I needed to get some lighter discs. I think I just need to throw flippy discs. I have like no flippy discs in my bag. That disc went far. 420 with a leopard? <laughs> No, oh, come on. Are you kidding me? I'm practicing my putting so much that felt good, it looked good, and just, ah. Par. Oh, that would have been such a good birdie. Easy thumbnail and title, but I can't do it. Ah. Maybe the throw. All right, hole 10, here we are. The basket is straight ahead of us, right behind that tree. And what we're gonna do on the back nine is a random number generator on every hole, and that's what we'll have to throw off the tee. Three, all right, leopard it is. Little tailwind now. No, not the headwind. What is this wind doing to me? Flipped up. Now come back. I threw you high enough. You better come back. You better come back. Ah, oh, this is flippy. All right, decent distance control. Not the best angle control. Could have put some more hyzer on it. Got another 45 foot putt. Stay up. Oh, that dropped. Nice. Down one through 10. We can't get 10 down. Let's try to at least get five, you know? Five, I think, is kind of respectable with these discs. Rain and wind is making it a little interesting. And Every time I freaking take this GoPro off my head and my hair gets a little crazier. You're out hole 11, just straight ahead of us. 262 feet, the answer is one. So we're going to AVR. 270 with the AVR. It's gonna be a little flippy. So this one, I'm definitely gonna have to hyzer flip as well. Get around it. Finish, finish, come on. Oh my gosh. I out threw the basket again. So that's fun. I keep leaving myself like barely inside a circle two putts. It's all right. Park. On to hole 12, 218, going straight down into that little gully down there. It just drops down. Pick a random number between one and three. Giving us two. Wow, it is just, I don't think it's random. It's just kind of giving us three, one, two. Maybe it's gonna do three again next time. We got the shark. Part of me wants to forehand it, but I know that won't go well. So I'm gonna throw a turnover with the shark right towards the basket. Drop, drop, drop. Oh my God, no. Oh my gosh. Why did I throw that so far? I did not think I threw that that far. Ow, this is painful stuff. This like whatever the heck this plant is. Shoot, man. Keep putting it low. It's also slipping on my hands because it's wet on. I didn't bring a towel like a dummy. Here we are. Par. Hey, at least we're making pars. Can't believe we made bogey on the second hole, but. Hole 13, 201 feet straight ahead of us. So the only one I really don't want right now is the leopard. Two. All right, shark, good. It's a little short, honestly. So, not bad though, I don't think. I think it'll be a putt for birdie. Looks like we got about 30 feet. Those chains are swinging a lot and I keep getting my hand warm or wet every time I put it on this butter. Yes, what a good putt, let's go. All right, down two through 13, so we got 
five more holes. We can still maybe go five. We can still do it. Kind of where those guys are putting all the way down the hill. It used to be on top of the hill. Pick a number between one and three. Don't give me the freaking leopard. One. All right, AVR. Theory's really doing me a solid by not giving me this leopard on these holes. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Oh yeah, bring it back, bring it back. Oh, I just yanked that. I yanked it, yanked it. Did we go? I thought we hit this tree. Uh-oh. Am I just in the middle of this nothingness back here? Where the heck is my disc? Ow, ow. Are you ever looking for discs and you just don't realize that you run into a tree? Just did that, I'm so dumb. All right, got the AVR there, basket there. Okay, we'll go for a putt. Big turnover. Get there. Ah, not bad, not bad. Part town. I'm the mayor apparently at Park Town right now. Pick a number between one and three. Three. Oh, we got the leopard. 162 foot, hole 15. All right, closer to 205 actually. It's the leopard's time to shine, baby. Oh my gosh, that thing is so flippy. I threw that at like 15% power and it's just like, I'm going to the right for you, buddy. The distance just about right though. So we got about 20-ish feet. Oh my gosh, gross. All right, par and 15. I think we need to get the rest of these to get our score. Pick a number between one and three, two. All right, Sharky. Yeah, I know someone who uh, ski and snowboards with it. Oh, that was honestly a great line. This is a 240 foot hole. So, I mean, literally almost perfect. If I can't put this in with this freaking AVR, I'm done. All right, birdie town it is. Three down, gotta get these last two, 17 and 18. Pick a number between one and three, two. Oh, shark again, all right, I like that. Not too much power, honestly, same shot as last time, just a little more hyzer, leave it out a little wide. That feels good, if anything, that's parked. Not quite, left a little short, about 25 feet, actually. Nice, nice, nice. All right, one last one to get, and we got our five down. It's half what we originally set out to do, but I'll take it with the wind and the rain and also playing bad. So 18, 218 feet. Just don't give me the leopard. Siri, pick a number between one and three. No, three. Oh, Siri likes to do it for the content, apparently. Send it out there on a spiking hyzer, have it flip up and come back towards the basket, ideally. It's short. Nope, perfect. All right, got some wind coming in. Let's make it happen. Yes. All right, down five. Not the best, but honestly, this was a really fun challenge, and I think it'll help me with angle control. So check out a challenge that I did with one of my friends where he gave me literally the worst disc that I've ever thrown in my life, and I had to try to beat him, otherwise give up a disc in my bag. See you in that video. <laughs>